that they fit, uh, just the chances of breaking them, I think, are virtually non-existent. Um, yes, don't get me wrong, historically we know they went with wood. Typically, um, I don't think they used any other material, maybe ivory or something, but typically it's, it's wood and leather, a cord. Um, but, um, you know, for what they were trying to produce, I'm not going to really be mad at them for coming up with the idea using just some polymer plastic. Um, you know, uh, modern, modern day stuff is, isn't bad either. Some, I'm, I'm really impressed by what they do with, with these uh, polymer plastics. Um, and, you know, just comboing it with, with these swords works really well. Um, I wouldn't want to take this thing on a hiking trip. I wouldn't recommend uh, trying to pass it off as a utilitarian tool. Um, any sort of law enforcement is really going to be questioning you, um, you know, and how valid this actually is a machete, even though it's sold as one. But, you know, like I said, these, these are swords, uh, maybe short swords. I don't know if maybe an accurate version of this may have been longer. This seems like it's supposed to be a two handed weapon, which uh, would lead me to believe it, it may, you know, should have maybe been a little bit longer, but I'm not sure if anyone knows, please, uh, you know, let me know, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know uh, any any knowledge you have on the weapon that this might have been modeled after. Anyways, we're moving on to the last one now. This was the final piece that I recently got from the Cold Steel um, Sword Machete uh, catalog there. Um, this is the Thai Machete. Um, this is an interesting piece. Um, you know, I'm just going to go real, scroll through real quick because this, this wrap is this uh sheath is just like the pretty much almost identical to the katana machete sheath it's just not as thick a little bit thinner here um same thing buttons little plastic cap it's got my tactical survival strap here um i don't know how well you'd be able to pull this from the back i think it might be possible the blade isn't too long uh this one's still nice and fresh only tested this on water jugs um fresh out the box I think I already uploaded a, an unboxing, unwrapping review on this one. Um, this one, fresh out the box, was able to cleave through some of the lighter uh, or, or thinner plastics, I should say. Um, plastic bottles, you know, your standard water jug, um, your standard milk jug, I should say, plastic that you would normally get. Um, Tried against the thicker plastics, and it really didn't do so well, unfortunately. I, I will be honest about that. Um, I don't know if maybe it was me, just not getting my edge aligned correctly. But personally, fresh out the box, I've had uh, better luck with the Gladius and the Katana Machete. Uh, they both, you know, ran through just about everything. Um, this one and the Chinese War Sword, I have not been able to just cut through everything. The Chinese War Sword, I will say, is definitely a serious cleaver. And, you know, uh, it definitely did the best against wood in the wood tests, whereas the other two uh, previous mentioned blades, the Katana Machete and the Gladius Machete, didn't really perform so well on wood, but they don't have the same mass. They don't have the same leverage. Um, this one, I haven't taken to wood yet, but you can see this thing has a serious uh, handle length on it. You know, that's definitely beyond two-handed. That's almost, you know, a, a three-handed length there. You could get one, two... And then your third hand here. Um, so, you know, you should be able to, you know, get a good chop every time you go. So, um, you know, I, I think you could get some good leverage with this one. I think if I can clean up my edge alignment, I have very high hopes for this. Um, just due to the balance on this blade, the other blades are a little more uh, blade heavy. You know, whereas this one is kind of balanced in the middle of the weapon. Um, you know, me personally, I found if I hold it a little bit lower, giving myself a little more room on the handle and I kind of choke down when I swing, I tend to get better cuts. Um, I don't know much about Thai swords or Thai machetes. Um, I'm not sure if they would have used it like that. I can only imagine that uh, being that you have so much uh, handle length, you have so many options and... Maybe that's why I'm not using it right. Maybe I'm not gripping it right. You know, I try gripping down here uh, at what, I, what feels to, to be like a pommel and choking up here. I found the best results when I came a little bit further down, you know, uh, or just came up here. Um, you know, maybe I'll try next time 
grabbing up here and then only here and not choking all the way up. Uh, if anyone knows, um, you know, the, the proper uh, forms to cutting or using these, please let me know. Um, this one's still pretty cleaned up. It just has a little scuff on it. No edge damage. Not even any rust yet. This one, uh, I haven't had this one over a year yet. Unlike the others, the others are all a few years in. Um, but um, that's the four of my tops there. Uh, this one, again, uh, under $40. It may have gone up recently. I know, um, I don't know if they're still manufacturing them. It's, it's been a while. Um, anyhow, um, even at $50, you know, it's, it's well worth the money. Um, you know, on this channel, I try to show uh, some budget options. Um, you know, yes, you may have to sacrifice some historical accuracy, but um, you'll get something you can practice with and use. I'm not going into any competitions, you know, and if, if you're someone that wants a good uh, cutting sword or weapon or, you know, utilitarian tool even, survival weapon, you know, something you could take with you and go, um, but is it just a giant bowie? Is it just a machete? You know, it actually has some of the applications of a sword. I recommend any one of these. Any one of these. They're very lightweight. You know, um, they can go on the back. I couldn't put them on in this video, but uh, I'll do another video showing uh, showing off how these, you know, operate from the back. Um, see if I can do any draw cuts. If you guys uh, want to see me do any draw cuts from the back, let me know in the comments. Um, but all of these, you know, um, you just, you can't go wrong with them, you know. From the time machete to the katana, you know, I mean, that's, that, that's a katana, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, you know, exactly what are the prerequisites for everyone and what they would consider a katana to be, but this, this is a katana for, for all extents and purposes, you know, it may not have been made in the traditional, traditional fashion, uh, definitely not made with the traditional steels, but that's the case with most swords nowadays, nothing is made with the traditional, uh, materials, um, that much, especially not the steels. The steels are just better quality nowadays. And, um, you know, we do have some better options. You know, I'm not ashamed to say that, and I'm not ashamed to take advantage of that. And, uh, you know, each one of these, you know, offers that. Um, there was another one that I had recently that I had uh, sold to a friend of mine, but it was a nice piece. It, was, uh, it wasn't made by Cold Steel. I can't remember the company, but it was similar to these. In the sense it was carbon steel, it was in the sword machete category. It was modeled after the movie 300. It was a Falcata. I don't know if the 300 Legion, the Spartans, actually used those or not. But um, it was a nice piece. I just wasn't a fan of, you know, it really only had one-handedness to it. The only way I could get two hands literally overlapping my, my uh, left hand over my right to go for my swings. And I just really don't like that, you know. This one, even though this one is short, I could get that second hand on. I mentioned that earlier. Um, and you know, that was a big thing. That's why I like all of these, all of these I can use decently one handed, you know, uh, definitely, definitely two handed. Um, maybe all except the, the, uh, war sword I could have here, you know, this thing's got some forward weight to it. This one really should just be a two handed weapon. Um, but that's them. That's all of them. Um, if you guys like what you see, hit that like button, subscribe. If there's any one of these in particular that you like that you want to see me go, uh, further into detail in a review, please let me know. Um, you know, if you have any more uh, knowledge on any of these historically, um, how they were used or what they were made of, please give me some comments uh, in the section below. And uh, keep, keep joining us for more videos. Keep training. That's what we're all about here. Thanks for joining us, guys.